Parents who fall behind on child support payments typically face enforcement measures, including civil contempt of court, that may have consequences for the whole family. The Procedural Justice Informed Alternatives to Contempt Demonstration, or PJAC, is a new approach developed by the Federal Office of Child Support Enforcement, being evaluated by MDRC and its research partners. MDRC logo building knowledge to improve social policy. PJAC logo procedural justice informed alternatives to contempt. The goal of PJAC is to increase parental engagement and promote consistent payments by applying the five principles of procedural justice to the child support process as an alternative to contempt. The five principles of procedural justice, respect, understanding, voice, helpfulness, neutrality. Applying these principles can fundamentally shift parents' perceptions of fairness, which may improve cooperation and increase regular payments. Heather Noble, Child Support Director. In procedural justice, it's a mindset and it's a methodology for how we interact uh, with those that we serve. Anne Durkin, Program Administrator. It just opens up an avenue for conversation and it really breaks down those barriers to um, non-payment because so many times it's not about ability to pay, it's about willingness to pay. And so if we can talk about that willingness and find out where the root issue is for non-payment, we can address it and move past it. George, a PJAC case manager in Arizona, worked with two parents who were not speaking with each other. Applying procedural justice helped them find common ground. Jorge Escobar, PJAC case manager. So we actually met on Valentine's Day, funny. That's why I remember Valentine's Day. And you know, they made a joke about it. We all laughed. But in the end, we, we figured out um, a couple issues. We we had a, a verbal parenting time plan for dad to start seeing the child. We were working towards a modification to to bring down the amount due to some changes. And you know, they exchanged phone numbers and emails, and to this day, they continue to be in contact with each other. And parenting time appears to be there, um, and dad continues to, to pay. The PJAC model has benefits for families and child support professionals. Michelle Franco, project director. I think the benefits for the children are too numerous to even count. Um, when a child has two parents cooperating on whatever level that looks like, um, including cooperating with a child support process and paying their child support, then they have the support they need to grow and thrive. If you can bring the other parent into that process and have them help contribute financially, then you reduce the stress on the family unit and therefore reduce the stress on the child. I think that um, children, when they see parents co-parenting well, they thrive. Joanna Basefield, PJAC case manager. And I think that is what PJAC offers us the ability to do is to take a case on a case by case basis and to give the party is the ability to tell us what they need and we then in turn utilize the resources and the training that's been made available to us to help them be able to move forward and, and, and co-parent and do this whether it's with assistance or without assistance. Ellie Ash, PJAC case manager. I do not just feel like a collections agency anymore. Um, I definitely feel like I'm making a difference and I don't know that I would be able to go back to to doing case management the way that I was before. You know, initially when I wanted to be a case manager for, for child support, my passion would have been to, to make a difference for children, to help, help children be financially supported. Um, and I feel like I'm making that difference now because I get to I get to actually help. With funding from the Office of Child Support Enforcement at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, MDRC, MEF Associates, and the Center for Court Innovation. MDRC logo, building knowledge to improve social policy. 
PJAC logo, Procedural Justice Informed Alternatives to Contempt, Center for Court Innovation logo, MEF Associates logo. Continue to study the effectiveness of applying procedural justice principles in child support settings in five states. Arizona, California, Virginia, Ohio, Michigan. To learn more, visit acf.hhs.gov slash CSS and mdrc.org. Watch more videos from the series on the PJAC project to learn more.